so in the early lecture i talk about uh, uh, variance reduction now i am going to discuss the important sampling and uh, it's a method to improve the monte carlo integration method to improve monte carlo integration this method sample the integrand sample the integrand in most of the important regions region so let us understand what does it mean and what are the most important region so as we have discussed in the earlier case that integral of f of f of x yeah, earlier we have taken the limit from a to b let us take it from 0 to 1 and this integral can be approximated as 1 by n summation of f x i, or it is the expectation value of f. That's what we did in the earlier lecture. So here, what we did. Here. average of f that is this is evaluated by considering its value at n values of x and these values are chosen at random with equal probability within the interval 0 to 1 right so we have chosen different set of values of x and all the values are chosen randomly and but the function we have chosen is a simple function but if function has large fluctuation then let us try to understand it by taking an example say this is a function and its behavior is like this means it has the different fluctuations here fluctuation and then so this is the given function so that means in different regions here its weight will be different here its weight will be different and in this region its weight will be different so what do we do in this case we will try to multiply this with some weight function wx now what does it mean so the given integral can be expressed in the form of a weight function so our given integral is f of x dx 0 to 1 and what i did i multiplied with it a weight function 
right? This is the same thing which is going on. In the simple Monte Carlo method, this Wx we have chosen it to be equal to one. But here we have chosen a different type of weight function. Means this weight function keep on increasing as uh, the peaks of the function keep on uh, increasing, right? So if I use this method, then integral can be evaluated. more properly and it reduces the variance so here wx is the weighing function or probability distribution for example say if i am having a such type of function things are happening like this so for this i can choose the weighing function like this the so gaussian like weight function gaussian like weight function right so this improves our results and reduces the variance so then if i use this idea then this integral can be approximated by like this its expectation value of f over w or i can say that 1 by n f of x i over w x i then it gives me the better result right so this is a way to look at the integral and what is the effect of this this idea of a function or we are sampling at some important regions as the title suggests so this idea can reduce can reduce the variance and as i know that variance can be defined as sigma square is equal to or nearly equal to 1 by n 1 by n summation fi x square minus 1 by n summation fi and uh, sorry it's whole square right so this is the formula to calculate the variance so let me go back to let me call this as equation number 2 and the uh, earlier one is the equation number 1 which i have taken this is the equation number 1 and this is the equation number 2 and this is also equivalent to equation number 2 also so now this is the variance so for integral defined by 1 integral defined by equation 1 variance is defined as sigma 1 square means for the equation number 1 sigma 1 square 1 by n 1 by n summation fi x square minus 1 by n summation fi x whole square and bracket close and for the integral defined by equation 2 variance is defined as it is defined as sigma 2 square is equal to 1 by n 1 by n summation fi 
over W I at square minus one by N and summation F I over W I at whole square, right? So let me call this as equation number three and this as equation number four. So to understand that how this important sampling will improve the variance, let us take the example which I have taken in the earlier lecture that fx which I have chosen is equal to x square plus one. And I have chosen a weight function it is equal to 0 0.85 plus 0 0.33x. This is the weight function which I have chosen. So for this, I did the, the use of uh, spreadsheets. So let me show you that what, uh, what I get from the spreadsheet. Yeah. I have taken the points which I have taken in the earlier lectures. So let me, yeah. So I have taken random number here. I have shown the random number and FX I have calculated at different random points. These are the 20 random points which I have taken. Then weight function is one, which I have used. It is equal to one. I Means this is equivalent to earlier case, which I talked about in the previous lecture. Then it is a sum of these, means it is summation fxi. Here it is summation fxi. It is this one. And area is calculated over this is the area which I have calculated summation fxi over n and it comes out to be this this and its actual area is 1.33 because I am interested to find out this integral from 0 to 1 and its value comes out to be 1.33. So this is the first estimation that means it's without weight function I can say that but when I used this weight function then this is the value of this weight function at different random points which I have taken here and this is the fx square this is used to calculate the variance and this is the variance which I have calculated using this I put in the formula which I discussed earlier means the formula which I used to calculate this variance is basically it is a 1 by 20, 1 by 20, because 20 sample points are there, summation fi square minus 1 by 20, summation fi whole square, right? This is the formula. And similarly, I use this weight function, and this is the value. And using this weight function, this is the basically summation f i over w i which I have calculated and using this I have got this uh, this is the area means uh, summation f i over w i 1 by 20 which I have used and using this I have got so the result is 1.33 actual result but it is 1.32 so it is more closer in comparison to this one thing and another thing which I want to share with you that variance, I have also calculated the variance. And the variance which I calculated is this one. Let me show you the result. Uh, Yeah. 
so here this is the square and it is used to calculate the variance and the variance which i have calculated is this one this is the variance which i have calculated using weight function so it is the variance calculated using weight function and here this is these are the two variances which which i can compare this is the one value which i am getting and this is another value so variance is reduced by with the help of the weight function and uh, we can choose the weight function different weight function as per our convenience and the nature of the function which we are considering and i have also calculated it uh, like this right so this is the plot of this function given function i'm using these data points and this is the weight function so this is the plot of the this weight function right so i simply multiplied this function with the this weight and this weight function basically reduces the variance so this is a very interesting way to look at the integration right using importance sampling means we sample at different important regions so that variance can be reduced so that's all for this lecture